Have you done it? Oh. Okay. Uh, so, students, this is our milling machine. And this is horizontal milling machine. Why? Because this spindle orientation in horizontal orientation. Okay. Spindle is in horizontal orientation. That's why this milling machine is horizontal milling machine. Okay. Now, this is our arbor. Okay. So, arbor is the extension of spindle. This is spindle. And here, the arbor is connected at the one end into the spindle and on the uh, another end it is supported by yoke. This is yoke or you can say that the arbor support. Okay, so this is spindle, this is arbor, this is yoke and this is overarm. This whole portion of the milling machine is called overarm. So on the overarm, arc is mounted. Uh, yoke is mounted and the yoke will support the arbor and on the arbor here in this location your multi-point cutting tool will be mounted okay this is our table and table can be moved with help of this wheel okay if you move this wheel in this direction so it will be moved like this then your saddle will be moved in transfer directions and this whole mechanism can be moved in up and down directions through this wheel. This is base of milling machine and it is hollow as I explained you or told you. This is ORA and this is column of milling machines and it is hollow. This is motor through which the cutting fluid will pump over here on the machining surface okay and the remaining uh, remaining cutting fluid will come from here through this pipe it will be again added to the base okay this is back part of milling machines these are some gears through which you can get the desired speed speed by getting uh, engaged in this manner. This is a charge to get the different speed and here this is the power transmission mechanism. This is motor through which your power will be transmitted to the spindle like in this manner. See this is hollow portion. So here motor is there and through the motor your power will be transmitted to your spindle and through this device also you can get the feed automatic feed of table 